What's up guys, Ender Unknown here. I am back for episode 9, I want to say. I maybe should have looked for uh, text-based adventure coding tutorial in C Sharp. So today is just going to be a quick bug fixes episode. Uh, I'm sorry this should have been out last weekend. I've been really short of time. But anyways, let's get started. So I actually have a list of all the bug fixes. And first, I'm going to just state that, state that I know uh, or someone brought to my attention that our sound player doesn't actually work with music. I thought it would, but it can't play sounds uh, synchronously. Uh, there's, as far as I can see, no easy fix for this in the short run. I'm going to keep looking and see if I can find anything uh, for the long run. But I'm not going to be able to fix that in this video, but hopefully in a future one. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So the first on my little bug fix list is potions do not deplete when used so I'm going to just go find where where we heal and so yeah this is where we gain life take a long drink blah 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 so I'm guessing we're just going to have to add in a, yeah, probably here, current player dot potion, just gonna minus minus, which means it'll subtract it by one. Yeah, so that should be all good there. Let's see what's next. Player does not take damage on a failed flea attempt. So let's go find our run. And, uh, yeah, I see players do not. So, we get the we get the damage value, and then we're going to get our program, or our, yeah, program, current player, health, and the health is going to be decreased by the damage. So, okay, that looks fixed. Uh... Level up doesn't clear screen. I didn't I didn't leave myself good notes. Like I skipped over a note because I've no idea what it's supposed to mean. Actually here's here's part of what it's supposed to mean. Is that I uh I do the read key after all of these actions, but also I have it in some of these actions, so losing health, I don't think I need that on there. Or sorry, running. I don't need a read key because I have a read key at the end of. Is it at the end? Input. Yeah, I have a read key at the end, so I shouldn't need it for anything other than the death code. So if if you okay, this video is you guys probably fixed this stuff when I screwed it up initially, but uh, if you followed me exactly, these are fixes you'll want to make. This one we'll want a read key on. Just none of the ones that... I, I think I fixed them all. So actually I was able to get that. It just said uh, there are places where any key needs to be pressed twice to continue. And that that's just vague. I didn't tell me where places or which places. Uh, anyways, level up doesn't clear screen. So... I wonder, is level up in here? Yes, it is. So, before we do anything, we are just going to want to uh, do console.clear. And that's fixed. And the last little bug thingy that I had was uh, the sound player can't play two sounds at once. So actually, that's all the bugs. That didn't really take too long. Uh, if you guys have any other bugs or issues, just let me know. I know some people had a problem with me having a random in the player class. I no idea what's wrong with that. Uh, some people did some things that I really don't know. I don't know exactly what they did, and it fixed. If my solution to this would be to move uh, the random class to, or the instance of random to the program. So at the top of program here, we'll just add public random rand. Uh, equals new random. 
And then every place in our random here, we'll just have, uh, or every instance where we use the random class down here, so like rand, we we'll just add program in front of it. So then it won't be, oh, I bet this has to be static, yeah, static random. Uh, and that should fix it all up. However, I am not going to do this because it works for me. So if you guys are having problems, that would be my solution to it. Some other people found a different solution, so I guess whatever floats your boat. And, yeah, that is all of the errors, I'm pretty sure. Aside from the music one, which I will still look into, but I couldn't find a fix for today. Uh... Let's see, do I have any? I left myself some other notes. So that's all I got for bugs. I'm gonna go take a break and figure out what we're gonna do next. Okay, we're gonna do a quick pu puzzle uh, encounter. So, public static void puzzle one encounter. Sure. Uh, we're just going to want to clear the console to start, and also mm, write out some lore or whatever backstory. Uh, you are walking down a hall. You see that the floor is covered in runes. Hooray! Now, yeah, so we're going to need to define a, hmm, I don't know what you want to call it, a, like a character that, or a char it'll be a list of characters, so list of char is going to equal a new, or, oh, I need to name it, chars, it's going to equal new list of chars. And, yeah, so you can add whatever characters you'd like, but I, I wonder, can, is it possible to just add a, a list like this? It is, because we can use an array. This is a faster way of... Doing a list, so yeah. Five, six. I'm just using the numbers. You guys could use whatever you'd like. Numbers are just gonna be simple. We're not gonna be doing any math. It's purely the characters, and that is going to be. Actually, we're gonna want a new, new char array. Uh, two list. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that's a long <laughs> line of code. We're going to get a specific char called C. And that is going to equal uh, chars, and we're just going to take a random number between 0 and 10 for that. And then we're actually going to remove C from... So chars.remove C. So if we get zero, that's going to be the character that uh, we can walk on. And then all the other characters... Or C is going to get... Did I just say C? I mean zero. Sorry. Uh, if zero is the chosen character, it'll get removed from the list. So all the other ones will be ones through nines. Um, so then for each, like, I don't know, I think we're going to have, we'll do a 4x4 four four grid. So, do a for loop, this is going to be X, actually we'll do Y, we'll generate it top down, or something like that. So, Y is equal to 0, while Y is equal, or less than 4, Y plus plus, just like that, and then... 
uh, for x and 4, same thing. So basically this will just create a 4x4 four four grid and we're just going to write um, not console write line, just console write some chair or chars and we'll just use random.next again. And this will be between 0 and 8 because there's one less. And then at the end of our uh at the end of our so after all these have been written, we'll add a a right and then it'll be a line uh a line break. So that yeah that should work. And it'll just write out Oh, I forgot to add in the the one character. Uh Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to need an if statement. That that'll be easy. So for every line, we're going to get a random we're going to get an integer called position is going to equal random dot next between zero and four. Or actually, we'll do one and five. Now, zero and four is better. Never mind. So, yeah, random position, and then if x is equal to that position, uh, then we're going to do console dot write our character C, which is the specified one. And then our, and then it'll just be else. And of course we can use that fancy shortcut. So everything looks nice. Yeah, so that should work. So if it is equal to, uh, let's say we get three, then it'll be on the far right. If it's zero, it'll be far left, etc. So this should print out our, uh, like our, I'll call it the board or whatever, the, the hallway, the graphic. Then we're just going to type, I don't know, choose your path. Choose your path. So, yeah, um, another for loop, i is less than four for each layer. This is going to take an input, so, oh, uh, we'll probably give an example, so, like, ex, I don't know, it's kind of bad that we're using numbers, that's actually really confusing, uh, Ex, well, I guess in parentheses, an example isn't going to do much. Uh, type the position of the rune you want to stand on, not the number. So yeah, that's confusing, but I'll show you you what I mean. So it'll go through every layer. And then the player's going to be able to put in input. This position, actually, we should probably save to some sort of list. Uh, so we're, we're going to make a list of ints called uh, positions equals new list of integers. Yeah, and then we're just going to add uh, positions add pass okay so with that all done we're going to check out so for every line we're gonna get a we need an input 
Uh, of course, with an input, that means a while loop. While true. We're going to take a input is going to equal player or console dot read line and input will be a string or actually we can just make that straight into an integer by parsing it so int dot parse or try parse actually There we go. So it'll try to parse the line into a integer. Uh, and we actually want to make that an if statement. So yeah, that's all dandy there. So if the if it's an integer, we're gonna output it, and then we have to do another if. And I think we can actually just use this on the same line. So and uh, input input can I use input yeah and input is uh, less than five and input is greater than zero so one through four is really all we want yeah so that should all work then mm, then so this would be checking if they were correct and if not so we'll do else probably just have a uh we want them to i don't know we'll just tell them that that is invalid input integers or whole numbers i guess because most people don't know what it is. so an integer is just a whole number so you guys can phrase this however however you'd like so whole numbers only and whole numbers one through four only yeah and then of course we're gonna want a read key or actually no we're not we don't need a read key so it'll just bump them down to the next line so yeah that should be all good and if it is successful, though, we have to do a little bit of uh, figuring things out. So their input is going to be one greater than their uh, actual. So like four is actually representative of three on our little board because of how that works. But people aren't going to want to type zero through three. They're going to want to type one through four. Oh, and this should be left to right. Uh, okay. So, now what we're going to want to do is add some stuff such as uh, what happens when the player succeeds and what happens when the player fails. So, we have the input. And so, the input is going to... For one, we'll end up breaking out of this loop here. Not not the for loop, the while loop, sorry. Um, but first what we're going to want to do is have some handling for what happen actually happens to the player. So we have the input. So let's say input is equal to 1. We have to reference that to our positions list. So positions index of i. So the so this is let's say we're on the first uh path or first step or whatever 
and the index is equal to 1 on the positions. So yeah, we're going to want this. If positions 1, so let's say that was, I don't know, 2. If that is equal to input minus 1, then that would be a success. Else is going to be a failure. So, I guess, I don't know, what do we want to do? Add. Oh, sorry, I was just checking my phone. Uh, okay, so positions, input, yeah, I'm back. So, in the case of a success, the player is just going to continue, and nothing bad is going to happen. So, we're just going to, and this doesn't even need a, uh, we're just going to break the, the wiles. If not, we have to do a little more. So, we'll add some flavor, so we'll do console. Right line, uh, I don't know, darts fly out of the walls. Mm. You take two, you, yeah, take two damage. However you want to phrase that. And then we'll do our mm, program, current player, dot health minus equals two and maybe if you had the hunter class or whatever don't you'd only take one i don't know you guys can add that in hunt, all the other stuff i am actually kind of running out of time here so we're just gonna add a break onto that so yeah this encounter should be good and then at the end we'll add mm, you are able to cross the hallway. Or, I don't know. You have successfully crossed the hallway. Congratulations. I don't You guys can put whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm going to go take a look at... I can't remember if... We have to check if the player's dead every time we make them, uh, so yeah, at the end it does check if their health is less than, so I'm just going to grab all the death code, and bring it up to our encounter over here. We really should have made that a, uh, I don't know, a just a method. So we're gonna just change the text. The you start to feel sick. The poison from the darts slowly kills. You. I don't know. Add more flavor. Read key and then exit. So that should be uh, all that we need for this encounter here. Now we just have to add it to our list of encounters, which uh, is in our program class, I believe. Where did we put that? Random encounters. Oh no, it is in here. Somewhere. Probably at the bottom. I'm just going to find it. Random encounter. Uh, we have to up this switch to 3 and add a case statement. So, case 2, puzzle encounter, break. Okay, so I'm going to go test that out, and we'll fix any errors or whatever needs to be done.
Okay, so I'm at the encounter here. Uh, we get our grid generated, and I can see that the number is 1, because we got a 1 here, 1 here, here, and here. So let's test that out. Uh, so the first one should be 2. Nothing happened. The first or the second one should be one, one, and three. I forgot to add the uh, console read key, but that does look like it works. So I'm going to see if I can get another one of those to happen. Yeah. So it looks like it's seven. I'm going to. Mm, select one, and the poison is going to kill me when I press enter here. So the only thing we're going to have to go back and do is add a read key after we finish the encounter. Okay, so all we have to do is read key, and that encounter should be done. And, of course, I died when I <laughs> selected the incorrect one. Uh, we are going to probably overhaul encounters and the death system next episode. Like, potentially either have death kill the character or restart. I, I think it'll just destroy the character, but I don't know. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and Ender out.